But please join me in welcoming Bruce Four. Create your mastermind group. Create your mastermind group. Bruce Four. Thank you, Lou, fellow Toastmasters. So, so um, fellow Toastmasters and guests, my name is Bruce Four, and I want to share with you some of my experiences with the mentoring program. Before I get into the Pathways program, I'll talk about the old program. One of the things that was mentioned earlier by our president is that if you look at the back of the agenda, we have a roster that shows who our mentors are and who the mentees are. So everyone who is a member of this club is either a mentor or is a mentee. So we've had the mentoring program around for many years, but particularly at this club, the last four years, we focused on that because we realized it's really important to look to others to have someone to provide some kind of support, an active voice, that you can pick up the phone, or you can tap on the show and say, look, I have some questions about the program, or why do we do this, and I'm not feeling comfortable about the project that I've been assigned. Things of that nature, we have that type of support because we believe that sharing and connecting is also part of Toastmasters. In order to be a powerful speaker or communicator, you have to know how to be vulnerable and how to relate to others, to be willing to accept the advice of someone else, or to be able to listen carefully. So those are traits of good speakers and communicators, is the ability to listen. And the mentoring program is always targeted for that. Many of the very successful clubs that you'll see, to include ours, they have very effective mentoring programs. Clubs that are not doing well, they don't have a mentoring program. They may have it in name, but they're not doing it in practice. So when Pathways, the new program that has been rolled out since May came around, one of the first things I wanted to find out was what is this mentoring? How, how are they using the program? And what relevance would it have? Because I had a lot of concerns about pathways. I am a traditionalist. I really believe in the old program. I love it. It's fantastic. I've been working through that. I've gained a lot of insight. But more importantly, I've made a lot of friends. I've made a lot of connections because I have been a protege. I have been a mentee for my first year. And then I became a mentor after that after that, and gave a lot of insight in relating to other people, talking to them, hearing their stories, finding out how they're going to solve a problem or how they're going to do a project. You get a lot of insight from them, but more importantly, you learn how to really listen carefully. So when Pathways came around, I became a Pathways guide for the district, which meant that I had to learn a lot about Pathways, and I had to go out to a lot of clubs and talk about the program. And the program is set where there are 10, 10 paths, or what we call 10 college programs that you can specialize in any one of them. And the program, the, the paths consist of five levels, levels one through five. As you move through those levels, you're gaining greater proficiency and competency in different areas. When you get to level two, there is a, a project in there that's called Introduction to Mentoring that starts you off into the mentoring process. And it gives you insight as to what mentoring is all about. Now, it is voluntary at that point in pathways to move on to the next level in the mentoring program. So there's levels, it's level two, three, four, and five in the mentoring program. The point of that is to continue the mentoring program and process at the club level. So the concern I have is many folks will get to level two, the introduction, and say, I don't need to worry about this anymore. That's not gonna happen in our club because we understand the relevance of a mentor and what they are now called proteges. So if you're a mentor and you have a mentee, you have a protege. So now I have a, several proteges, which sounds real cool, but it's the same relationship. <laughs> 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 and I've always had that. You know, I get someone's phone number, email, they'll drop me a line, they'll call me, or we'll schedule a meeting. And the most important part about Pathways now is that they've structured with worksheets and charts, really fancy stuff that you can do in the back of an envelope, but now it's systematized in many ways. But they focus really very clearly into what the goals of mentoring is. And they recognize that in Pathways, and particularly most of the clubs, we have such a wide assortment of individuals from all across the roads of life and different experiences that when you have a protege and you have a mentor, it's going to be a two-way connection. And you're going to learn a lot. There's going to be a lot of give and take. And certainly for me, my experience is once I started moving down this path and picking up mentors or uh, proteges in the new mentoring program, in the new Pathways program, and following their protocol, um, the last six months have been very interesting. I picked up four proteges and talk about 
getting a workout has been tremendous. Um, one of the things that happens is they're mostly interested in why the club or the club that they're a member of works the way it does and to give them some background insight. Or they may have a problem in how they're using vocal variety and, and they want to give some suggestions. And what I found out primarily in, in being a, a, a mentor is that listening is really important and listening to how that person addresses that question. I, my next question is, well, what do you think? And then they proceed and I'll say, well, how do you feel about that? And what I'm finding now is that there's not very little I can give. I'm learning more than I'm getting than giving out. And that's been great because some of these questions then move into other areas outside of Toastmasters. And I'm always sitting there saying, wow, this is, this is more than I bargained for. But it certainly is allowing me to uh, allow someone to be very vulnerable and to be very receptive to me. What it is they're trying to express. And most of it is about confidence and self-esteem and respect and doubt and concerns of those natures. And it's already always remarkable because the takeaway for me is that, wow, that's been a great session. I wish I could uh, pay that person for the insight that I've gotten from them. As well as what I found out at the end of it, they said, Bruce, that was fantastic. Thank you so much. You helped me. And I'm like, I don't know what they're talking about because I got more out of this than they did. So I have moved through levels two, three, and four. And the way it works is that level two is the introduction, level three then have an opportunity to have a protege and work with them through their first project, just to give you some exposure. <coughs> then when you move to level three, three and four, you then have a six month assignment with a protege, where you work with that individual for that six month window of time, and that completes your assignment. However, it doesn't have to stop there. And one of the things you probably notice here is that even though you may have an officially assigned a a, a, a mentor, Everyone in here is a mentor, and everyone in here is a protege mentee, because we all are constantly working each, uh, together with each other. So I'll say to you this. Part of the mentoring process is really, we talked about in the very beginning of the year, how many of you had come up with your New Year resolutions. And less than half of you did, which is the average. And as I mentioned to you before, at year end, only 8% of you will probably keep committed to your resolutions. That's where your power is going to be at. And one of the things you want to have is a mastermind group. And a mastermind group doesn't have to be a whole group of individuals. It can be a member of one, a mentor. And that mentor really is part of your mastermind group. If you want to achieve success in whatever area that you're trying to strive for here, work with your mentor and give some advice. And work with other mentors, because we are truly part of your mastermind group. As Les Brown says and Jim Rowan, you have to have a mastermind group if you want to achieve your true potential. So here we are. Thank you.